how are you doing? I would like to say if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be talking about various topics and I'm sure you don't want to miss it. So stay tuned and enjoy. I ran track sixth grade through eighth grade. And one of the times when I was running track, my track coach took me and some other girls in her, in her car to another school to practice running on another school's track. And I told my mom this story recently because it was funny. So basically, I already knew that I wanted to sit in the back of my coach's car. And there were two of my teammates, they wanted to sit in the front of a car. Well, you know there's only the, there's the driver's side of the seat and then there's the passenger seat. So it's only one other seat. So only one person can sit in the front. And so I remember two of my teammates were play fighting over who would sit in the front of my coach's car. And I remember watching them play fight and I don't think I laughed, but I was just looking like all of this over who's going to sit in the front. But I was just watching it happen. And then I remember one of my other teammates was, was watching the two girls, I think it was two of my teammates play fight over who would sit in the front. And then my track coach came out and already said that someone else was supposed to sit in the front. And so I was talking to my mom about this story again recently because I just thought it was so funny. And I was thinking, okay, the reason why one of my teammates wasn't play fighting over who would sit in the front of my coach's car with my track coach, because she already knew that that was her seat. She already knew that's where she was going to sit. So she didn't have to play fight and say, oh no, it's my seat because it was already hers. And so when I was telling my mom that story, I told my mom, see, that's the same thing with God. I said, what God has for you, it is for you. No one can take that away from you. Whether it's a promotion, whether it's a new job opportunity, whether it's a new home, a new vehicle, no matter what it is, what God has for you, it is for you. No one can take it away from you. You don't have to fight people over what's yours because it's yours. You don't have to say, oh, no, 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 this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. Because what God has for you, it is for you. No one can take it away from you because it's yours. If two people say that they want a promotion, but the Lord has the promotion for you, then there's no reason to get sad and dismayed. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get this promotion because it's yours. So people can fight all day. No, this is mine. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. But it's yours. Why fight over what's already yours? Why argue over what's already yours? Why get sad and say, oh no, they're trying to take it away. No, what God has for you, no one can take away, no matter what it is, because God said it's yours. So what's yours can't be taken away. What God said is yours, no one can take away. They can try. They can try to stop you from getting it. But once God says it's yours, it's yours. So you will have what he said is yours. So I want to tell you what God has for you, it is for you. It's true. No matter what it is, once God says this is yours, it's yours. If God says, Tom, this is yours, it's yours. Julie, this is yours, it's yours. Rebecca, this is yours, it's yours. So there's no need to fight over what's already yours. So when you know the Lord has something for you, if people are trying to take it away from you, if people are trying to stop you from having what the Lord says is yours, you have to know that, no, it's mine. So no matter what you or you, or you, or you do to try to stop me from, what, from receiving what the Lord says is mine, I'm going to get it because it's mine. So no one can take what the Lord says is mine away from me. That's how you have to be. When God says this is for me, it's for me. When God says this is yours, I know that's mine. No one can take this away from me. No one can take this job opportunity away from me. No one can take this new home away from me because the Lord blessed me with it, so it's mine. So whatever the Lord has promised you, you have to know that what God has for you, it is for you. No one can take what he said he was going to give you. No one can take that away from you. No one. Because it's yours. So I want you to remember that. And I want you to say what God has for me, it is for me. Did you say it? Now you need to believe it. You have to believe it and know that what God has for me, it's for me. No one can take it away from me. No matter what it is, it's mine. So I won't be worried. I won't get sad if people try to take what God said is mine away from me because I know it's mine. So they can't take it away from me. They can't. They could try, 
but it won't work because God said it's mine. So I just wanted to tell you and remind you that, that whatever the Lord says he has for you, it's yours. So if you've been praying for something and then what you prayed for is coming to pass and you say, oh, thank you, Lord. And there's someone trying to take what you prayed for away from you. Well, no one can take that away from you because it's yours. So no matter what it is, when God says it's yours, it's yours. When God says, I have this for you, it's for you. It's not for her. It's not for him. It's for you. So remember that. Remember what God has for me, it is for me. No one can take it away from me. People can try because that's the thing. People try. Try to take things from people. But it's yours. So they can't take it away from you because God says it's yours. So I want you to remember that. What God has for me, it is for me. Don't forget that. Always remember that. What God says is mine, it's mine. It was really great talking to you. I hope you have a blessed rest of the day and I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting more videos, so stay tuned. Bye.